Hey, Tay here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. As you may know, the space race changed a lot during the years. We started with a US versus Soviet Union competition that brought us to the moon in a way. And then now things changed again because we're actually talking about company versus company to give a more affordable way to get to space. We saw SpaceX recently arriving to the ISS and well, there are many different companies that are competing to each other to give services to the NASA or any space agency around the world. But why are we talking about this in the VR tech channel? Well, because competition brings to innovation and that's what Boeing is actually doing using virtual reality to train its astronauts to go to space. How do they do it? Well, let's discover it in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so it comes from today, the announcement that Boeing, the company that makes a lot of planes and also working on a new spacecraft, the Starliner that is gonna bring people and also tourists to the International Space Station in the future, uh, launching in 2021 for the first time, is collaborating with Vario a VR headset company from Sweden with a very interesting and very advanced virtual reality headset. We talked about Vario in the past and what's very interesting about this headset and what's the reason why Boeing actually went for it to start to train his astronauts is the fact that it has very, very high resolution. It's pretty much human eye resolution, so there's no screen door effect and nothing like that taking place when looking through the lenses of this headset. They were able to achieve this thing using micro display in a cluster with a bigger display in the back. So the regular resolution would be 1440 by 1600. That is nothing crazy, but in the center, the focus screen, you're gonna have a projection of the 1080p display micro LED display. And so there you're gonna be able to have all the details. And that was very important for Boeing because one of the most important things where you're creating a training where you're trying to do a reproduction of the real things around you is to have a perfect vision. And well, using an headset that you can't even see all the switches around in your spacecraft, well, uh, it wasn't really anything possible to have a compelling training. And so that's where this partnership with Vario went to reality. Virtual reality is not new to space, by the way. In the International Space Station, they already have an Oculus Rift that they use for different experiments in the past and also different HoloLens that unfortunately like blew up in the first launch uh, back in the days, but then uh, they actually received them for different experiments as well to have holograms in space. So all the space organizations were very open to VR and AR and seeing that really like the future for training and stuff like that, but there wasn't really something good enough to be able to do it. And that finally happened with the Vario headset. That yes, it's a super expensive headset because it starts around $5,000, but here we're talking about big companies and not like me and you trying to buy something like that. But anyway, how they're gonna use this headset? Well, they're gonna use for different training, of course, to be familiar with the spacecraft itself because you wanna know everything and create a muscle memory interacting with every switch in the computer. So it was very important to be able to have a perfect vision while being strapped to your seat in the spacecraft. So you're gonna be able to have a proper muscle memory over there, understanding also the different distance uh, that you should have. Also, what are the other perks? Is the fact that it's much more portable than a reproduction of the Starliner. If you take, for example, the ISS, not many people know, but there are actually two one-to-one uh, -one scale reproduction on Earth of the ISS. One is in a big pool in the NASA headquarters where astronauts uh, train to be inside in kind of a zero gravity because they float in water and also to try, of course, to be outside a spacewalk uh, around the International Space Station. And the other one instead is another reproduction where they can actually walk uh, inside to see all the things and train already how to use every part of the International Space Station back on Earth. So when they go up there, they're already ready for everything and they don't have to do training or stuff like that, they exactly know uh, where to move. The problem with that is it's very costly because you have to bring people there and also it's not very portable because there's just one place where you can actually train for it. And also, as you may know, the astronauts have to quarantine for uh, quite some time before going to the International Space Station so they don't bring any uh, illness 
over there and uh, during that period well they can't train anymore but with this solution they're going to be able to bring even uh, the virtual reality headset home uh, to be able to train with all the crew remotely and at the same time be able to keep the training going during the quarantine period and that's really a big advantage over the traditional solution now the training they're doing is to understand the cockpit of course to be able to train for the docking to the international space station that is one of the hardest things to do uh, astronauts trains for hundreds of hours uh, to make it right because even a small error could compromise everything over there and also for the re-entry uh, when they of course come down to hurt and also with VR they can train some of those things that you can truly really train if you're not in the virtual reality environment and that will be if something goes wrong so they're able to reproduce everything in there and be able to find the solution within uh, the simulation now the simulation runs on an unreal engine and is of course a reproduction of the Starliner and it's connected with all the big computers from Boeing for the real simulation of physics and stuff like that. Now, I don't know you, but I was really pleased to see these news uh, coming in because I'm really passionate about space. We already uh, talked about it. And at the same time, well, uh, there's place for VR uh, also there. It's finally being used for real stuff, real serious stuff. And, and well, we starting to see virtual reality ads that they can reproduce perfectly uh, the perfect vision of the human eye. If, if they're good enough uh, to create a training for astronauts, well, uh, we're starting to see that our technology is actually maturing a lot and being able to use in many different other cases in the future. And I really hope that then we're gonna share uh, the training uh, with the regular people because it will be super awesome to try myself, even if I'm probably never gonna be able to go up there anytime soon, but hey, dreaming, uh, it's free, right? But what do you think about this? Are you ready to explore space as well using VR at least? Well, let me know in the comment below. And I remind you that you can already go around the International Space Station in a one-to-one -one reproduction. We made a video about it last week. And well, uh, there's an option that you still have right now. So check it out for sure. Also the app, not just the video. And anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And also, if you really love the channel, you can join down there like these super nice people over here and we have also the store down there with the t-shirt uh the stickers that are very very cool and you should check it out for sure but yeah that's all thanks again like dislike subscribe see you guys next video thanks for watching ciao